of him. Fred, how could you? How could I what? You were cruel to him. I don't blame him for leaving this house. I'm almost tempted to do it myself. Oh, honey, don't talk like that. My house is your house. My husband's house is my house, wherever it is. Oh, I don't know. How can you marry him anyhow? Oh, Fred, would you try to understand? <clears throat> I love him. He's, he's kind, warm, generous, good-natured, and he loves me. Oh, be serious. <laughs> oh, Fred, stop it. You really mean, how could I marry a white man, don't you? Well, ain't there no kind, warm, generous black man? Yeah, there are many. The most beautiful one of all was you. I don't want that stuff on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe if I had waited, I might have found another black man just as wonderful, but uh, Rodney came along first, and he just happened to be white. Well, I'm sorry, Francis. Maybe he didn't go away mad. Maybe he just went down the corner for a paper. Of course, he went to buy a racing form. Where would that be? Down on the corner? Let me go. No, I'll go. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm Francis. Hello, Lamont. What's the rush? He's rushing to try to catch the white tornado. <laughs> I guess by that you mean her husband. Yeah. Hey, what you doing home anyway? Well, I forgot to take money with me this morning. I couldn't buy no lunch. Oh. You know, son, maybe I was a little too hard on him. I think so, He's too. not such a bad guy. Nah. Yeah. I guess you can learn to like somebody like that. Hey, Pop, it's gone. All the money is gone. What, what, what? what? I knew it, I knew it, son. I knew he was a crook. We've been conned. We've been hoodwinked. We've been had by the kissing bandit. <laughs> I knew it, son. I knew it. I knew it. You just can't trust him. Bring him into your home and they rob you blind. Okay, Pop, that's enough already. It's all my fault, though, son. I know better. You're not supposed to tempt him. There's two things you got to always do. Let's hide all your money and lock up all your liquor. Look, let's not go accusing the man on the spot before we find out for sure. Yeah, you're right, son. We have to consider the evidence. Now, let's see. The cash is gone, and he's gone. Guilty. <laughs> Death by hanging, case closed. Well, who could that be? Could be the police. The police? Don't tell me you called the police. That's right. Pop, we don't even know if Rodney did it or not. Man, look, when they come in here, let's not go mentioning any names until we find out for sure, all right? No name, no name. Hey, what's up, Lamont? Hey, how are you, man? What's going on? Hey. Uh, I sure am glad they sent you two over as opposed to two other policemen. Well, thank you very much. You know, there's very few victims of social injustice who give us police officers a warm welcome. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's the problem, Fred? Well, well, see, it's kind of a delicate now, situation. Now, just wait a minute. Let now, me explain thing. to the man. Well, Please. remember, well, just remember, no names. Okay. Well, listen, here's what happened. Now, my sister, uh, who we call a Madam X. <laughs> Madam X. Yeah. Sent me a telegram saying that she was married to a gentleman who we refer to now as Thieving Hunky. <laughs> Okay, that is, uh, that's Stephen Hunky. Yeah. Well, how do you spell that, that Hunky? Uh, uh, Y, uh, T. Y, Y, T? Yeah, say it again, Y, T, Y, T. Y, T, Y, T. Y, T. Y, T. Y, T. Oh. Now, I'll handle this. Look, we had a lot of money here in the house, and now it's missing. Yeah, and we had a brother-in-law in the house, and he's missing. I think I understand what you're getting at. Now, did either of you actually see this person take the money? Well, no, we didn't actually no, we see didn't him. Well, then, Fred, you could be jumping to conclusions. No yeah, I'll jump in his chest if I find him. <laughs> Not only that, I'll play Ring Around the Roses and shove it up his nose. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.